What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I want to welcome you to a very exciting time, a very exciting video, uh, the, basically the unboxing and showcase of my new gaming PC. Um, as I mentioned, and I also made a previous video, uh, I'm going to link to that right here, so if you want to go check it out what went down, you can completely find out what went down, wrong there by clicking that annotation. Um, I was forced to buy a new gaming PC, uh, not at the best of times, but it still had to be done, and I was planning on doing this for a long time now, to really, like, instead of doing what I've been doing for the past, like, that, that tech that I've been using was good in 2012, and it's 2015, and it's time to move on and prepare for the future. With DanQ8000 being uh, much more successful than it was at that time, and the fact that this is now my full-time job, I feel it's very important to uh, have what I need, the tools I need to get things done. So with that being said, I have created here a monstrous gaming PC. Uh, it is obviously, as you can tell, the case itself is well, as I'm sitting down, if I stood up, it would probably be, well, we don't know exactly, it's not going to be the entire size of this box, it's going to be a teeny bit smaller, but it's pretty much the same height, and everything is this box, it's huge, man, like, it's ridiculous, so, but th before we really show you the, um, the actual, the PC as it's built, I'm going to show you what's in it first, because everyone's been like, Dan, what's your specs, what are your specs on your new PC, we want to know, well, I said, wait for the video, so here we're going to showcase it, so, starting things off, What's closest to me anyway is the processor, and we got ourselves an Intel Core i7, I believe the, uh, yeah, the 4790K, so this is a pretty, uh, pretty all, all around amazing, co uh, sorry, processor, uh, it's, it's, I believe, at 4 hertz, 4 gigahertz, um, it, it's amazing in overclocking, I don't know if I'm going to bother with that, but it's here regardless, so, next up, this is just a, uh, USB host card, so basically, just to get a few more, I believe it's three, four ports, sorry, excuse me, four more ports of USB 3.0, just in case, because I always find that I need to uh, split my, U I have so many USB devices, I, I, I was forced to buy a couple splitters, so this will help, this, this case already comes with a lot, same with the motherboard, but uh, this is just in case, you know, for when we need to, uh, if there's any more things that are upgradable to USB 3.0, that is in there. Uh, okay, so the RAM, we have 16 gigs, HyperX RAM, and I believe it's by Kingston. So Kingston 16 gigs, so 2 times 8 gigabytes. So with the solid state, we have a Samsung 850 Evo, 500 gig solid state drive. So this will have the, uh, the, uh, the operating system and everything on it. I, I was originally going to get a terabyte, but I'm like, you know what? I have so many hard drives. I've, I've put a large hard drive in this as well. That when I install games, I'll probably just install it to that hard drive or anything else. Uh, basic running things, uh, other than the OS, is not going to fill this that much, and my last um, my last OS, uh, like the C drive, wasn't very large, and I had so much space on it because I never used it, which is why I saved myself the money and just got the 500 gig solid state. Keep in mind, the last solid state that I had was 128 gigs, I believe. It was really pathetic. I never upgraded the hard drives on that thing at all. Well, I had, but they were extremely old, so it was no doubt that they ended up bleeding out, in a manner of speaking, okay? So... The motherboard, whoops, sorry, I almost uh, knocked something up. We're sitting at with the Asus uh, Z97A, pretty much everything I need. I'm not, I've never been too knowledgeable about motherboards, so forgive me, but uh, we are prepared for this. So that's, I'm not going to say too much more because I'll sound like an idiot because I'm more so an understanding of PCs and what stuff does, but I, I wouldn't really want to build my own. I mean, I've kind of done that a couple times, like I've replaced parts here and there but I've never actually built it from scratch, which is why I got the guys at Memory Express uh, to take care of it for me. I've mentioned them a few times. I want to give Logan a shout out for helping me to, uh, help me build this, as well as the other techs who helped assemble it and everything. So he said he was going to check out my channel. So Logan, if you're watching, be sure to subscribe, bro. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, I decided to get a um, water cooling for the, process, for the CPU, excuse me. Uh, we have Corsair. Uh, H80i GT. It's a dual fan uh, back to back. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's a dual fan back to back. So there's actually two there uh, working together. Originally, we were going to get like a side by side, like a, a side by side series. It was $20 more, but it wasn't going to work on this case. So uh, yeah, we got this instead. Saved myself 20 bucks, and it still does the job. Okay. Uh, the power supply we have a Corsair RM1000, so 1000 watts. Uh, of power. Originally going to go with about 1200 or 1250 or whatever, but uh, 1000 was more than enough than what we had going here. So we say again, saved ourselves some money, 
and went with the uh, 1000 watts. So this should handle no problem, okay? So boom. And now a lot of people are wondering what I decided to do with graphics cards. Well, obviously I went with two this time. Uh, because I wanted to double up and the good thing about this case is if I want to triple up I can do so because this is this case is so massive that it's got the ability for three uh, Spacious graphics card slots like it's insane. I still have not actually seen this out of its out of the box yet I mean I've seen it online. I've seen dimensions. I've seen uh, like obviously this kind of stuff But I've never actually seen it out of its case and a lot of the guys at the shop have never seen it either because most people don't get a, a case this large so um, I'm, I, I'm anxious to see what it's gonna do. It's gonna take some rearranging in here, but it'll work I will figure it out. I promise so anyways uh, we have two uh, EVGA GeForce 980s ACX 2.0 um, I know a lot of people were like Dan why didn't you just get the TIs the 980 TIs well the thing is they're not coming out till the end of June and I needed this PC sooner rather than later I couldn't wait that long to get a new PC I'm not working off of anything that la laptop can't render anything without dying it's not a very good laptop it was just used as a secondary thing in case I needed to check emails or use it for commentary things like that that's all it was made for you know what I mean that's all I had it for and started using it for so I can't go that long without a PC which is why I did I went with the 980s obviously these are gonna last me a long time anyway so yeah two 980s here and the, the goal is, like, obviously, if I really, really wanted to upgrade them later, I can do that, but I'm not going to do that right now. It's going to be fine. What I've been working on is a, is a setup, for th three years old setup, uh, that was working and playing new games very well. So these will have no problem. So I know it's not the latest thing, but trying to keep up on the latest PC parts is a full-time job, man, because PC parts come out so fast. It's insane. So that's how it is. So... Just give me a few seconds here. I am going to open this guy up and uh, pull it out without killing myself, hopefully. This box is massive. I'm going to kind of stand up just so you can get a relation in height. So I'm, I'm, a six, I'm six feet tall, okay? And this box comes up to my, well, nearly, you can kind of see it my ass kind of thing. You know what I mean? Just to give that and get that in perspective that it's at ball level, okay? So just to give you that idea. So... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this box and pull this guy out and we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at the entire uh, PC and uh, Give it kind of like a, a 360 view and look at what's inside kind of thing I might take the uh, the window off and everything and let you guys see it in there So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right guys So we are back. It's unboxed and yeah, it's not as tall as the box was like I had thought but it's still pretty huge I think it'd be in my best interest. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I was originally gonna put this under the desk, but I mean, I can always raise my desk, but as it is, it's not. It's about that much too tall for my desk. Just to keep that in perspective, I could always keep it on the side, though. That's no problem. But anyways, as you can see, this case is rather enormous. Okay, I, I like just looking at it through the camera doesn't do it justice. But it's got a lot going on here. So, a um, couple things I forgot to mention, though. There's, I don't, I don't. I, the reason I didn't see it is because the box. They must have forgot to give me the box back. But there's also a mechanical drive in here, a four terabyte Western Digital. Um, I only mentioned the solid state. I have no idea where it went, but uh, yeah, the box is not here, so it's probably left at the shop, but that's okay. At least it's in the computer. I checked. So, anyways, the cool thing about this is it's got a lot of quick release stuff for like easy access. Um, and I'm going to kind of bring you around, but first I'm going to open this up on either side, on this side and the other side. Uh, obviously, you have a viewing window on this side and a solid back on this side. Um, down here, this is uh, there's an access panel, same on the other side. To get to the access panel, you just push a little button in down here, and you give it a little pull, and she plops down. So Okay, so as you can see, and you have a nice, this is a nice feature, a nice dust cover to go over, over this vent down here, because this is probably where a lot of the dust is going to sit, near the bottom. And uh, you have some access to some of the hard drive spaces here, which there are a lot of. Now I'm going to take the, the actual window off so we can see what we're dealing with here. There's an actual release button around the back here. I don't know if you can see it where my finger is, but you just push that, and you give it a little pull, and you lift it off. Boom. I'm just going to set this down to the side so we can get a little look-see inside. So I apologize. Uh, I'll, I'll just, just for the record here, I'm just going to kind of give you an idea where all the space is here. So. This is just insane, so I just can't get over this. So hold on, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. Just give me one second, and we'll see what's inside. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're a little bit closer to the PC now. Uh, I just wanna give you an idea how many hard drive bays there are. I believe there's a total of nine hard drive bays, and I'm using one 
right now. I only have the one in there. So just to give you an idea how big this case is, and I don't know if I mentioned what this case was, but it's the Obsidian 900D, okay? So I don't know if I, you probably saw it in the box, but I can't remember exactly. So anyways, uh, so obviously the, I think the, the, here it is, there. My Western Digital 4 terabyte is in here. I have no idea what, if I'm ever gonna fill these up, probably, but they're easy enough, you just peel it back and you can slide out the slot. Here, oh, here's my solid state, my apologize. Or my apologies, I should say. Okay, so yeah, that, my solid state's in here. I didn't see it because it was so small, but uh, they, they skipped one lot. But it just, there's like a track and they just slide in and out, so uh, for easy storage space. Just like that, pretty easy to switch things in and out. Um, obviously you have uh, your disk drives up here. All I have there is a DVD drive. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but I, I got the DVD drive just in case. Most things are digital nowadays, and I didn't get a Blu-ray drive because I don't think a Blu-ray drive is really necessary on a PC. Like I said, especially with everything being digital. Um, so yeah, hard drive base, power supply over here, the uh, 1000 watt power supply. Um, if we look around though, there aren't as many fans, as, there are a decent number of fans, I believe there's a total of five. You got one big one up here, and you got three in the front plate I think, down, like all in the front, there's a little one right there. Um, for now, I'm probably just going to leave it as is. I may start including fans as we go. Uh, we have obviously the water cool, uh, the liquid cooling for the CPU right here. Um, Motherboard, the two GTX 980s uh, with SLI and everything. So yeah, obviously, as you can see, there is room for a third one. Plenty of room, and there's just so much. There's so much I can do here, but I don't know if I need to do anything with it just yet. But I, like, I just want to kind of test it out and see what I can do with it, of course, and go from there. So that right there, in a nutshell, is a big empty case. There's a lot more space I can deal with, but I do like the fact that there's this much space. Like that way, like I can just take off when I need to take off like obviously every can every piece comes off even this top part it just kind of pops off I'm not gonna do it obviously you can get at it through the top you can get at it through the back you can get it through either side that you want all the cables are hidden behind here nice little cable management compartment here with uh, that way there, there's nothing messy I like cable management I'm pretty I'm getting better at it but I, I just hate cable management it's such a pain to deal with but uh, yeah so this is the inside of the PC I'm just gonna kind of go around the front here and give you a, a little bit of a view so if we just push this button here, we get our USB ports, two 3.0s, and uh, I believe four 2.0s with a microphone and headphone jack there, and you can just seal that up by locking it in place. DVD drive by Asus, and all these will obviously pull out if you need any more drives. Same with this front panel if I want to access the fan base, and yeah, let's take a closer look here. So yeah, we have, there's my uh, my memory, you know, everybody know you guys know PCs, I shouldn't have to tell you what, what is, but just kind of a little overview of what I have to look forward to as we're coming around. I'm gonna spin this to the back. Alrighty, so, obviously motherboard, and then the motherboard has, from what I can see, four 3.0s and two 2.0s as well, and also I have 3.0, three ports. <laughs> <laughs> with the two GTX 980s here, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. I think um, I I'm gonna mess around with it, see what I can do, and just kind of go from there and, you know, just maybe updates along the way if I get new parts. Obviously, I'll showcase it for you. Um, I just want to showcase one more thing before we outro, and then we're gonna get this bad boy tested. Hold on. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to showcase the size comparison of the old versus the new tower. This is my old PC. This is, I don't even think this is a, this could be a mid-range case. I can't remember, but it's, this, this case, I got it in 2009, so it's a really old case. And here's the new case. Look at the just sheer height difference. With as well, like I mean, uh, this is a fit decently wide PC, but this one is at least a third longer in width. So I have a lot of connecting to do. I have a lot of downloading to do, installing, a lot of stuff to do to get my stuff back up to speed. But we'll be gaming in no time, guys. So I hope you stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of the build. If you think there's, um, if you like what you see. Uh, if you think I should add anything, like anything you may recommend, I I love hearing your guys' comments and uh, seeing what we can do from there. Obviously, I got this PC for the future, so right now there may, it may not be packed, but it's not necessary. There's such a thing as overkill, but sometimes you gotta overkill for what you need to do. So, obviously, we're gonna add stuff to this bad boy as we go along, but for now, it'll do just what I need. So, thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I got plenty more gameplay coming your way, I promise, especially with this guy coming. So. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon for some more gameplay. Have a good one, guys.